I'm going to present on how to offer someone help. Um, there are modals for that. It's can, could, may. Um, but before we start, I need to review some modal rules. First, put the modal before the verb. So he can speak English. Okay, can comes first. For modal rule number two, change the verb into the base form. So originally, we might have said she has a car because it has is a third person singular. But the moment we add can, the modal can, we have to change have into, we have to change has to the base form, which is have, okay? So she can have a car. In the same way, modal rule number three, we change the auxiliary into the base form. So for example, we might originally say he is driving, but the moment I add may, we change is into the base form, which is be. So he may be driving. Uh, modal rule number four, we put not after the modal to negate. So, for example, she could not drive. Not comes after the could, the modal. And if I want to make a question, I move the modal before the noun. So, could she drive? These are the five rules for modals. Put the modal before the verb. Change the verb into the base form. Change the auxiliary into the base form. Put not after the modal and move the modal before the noun for questions. Okay, now, when we are making an offer, we use um, three modals. We use may, can, and could. Those are the modals that we use to make an offer, okay? So, for example, here's a guy. He wants to help this lady. So, he says, can I help you? So, we can use can, could, and may to make an offer to help someone, okay? Can I help you? Could. Could I help you? May. May I help you? Okay. These are the expressions that we use to offer help. If I want to, if I, if he is talking to his girlfriend, then he can say, can I help you? Okay. If he is talking to his boss, he would use the more former one. May I help you? Now there's also back shifting for can, which is could. So if he's talking to his boss, he can also say, could I help you? Okay. If this lady is his boss, he says, can I help, could I help you, may I help you? If it's his girlfriend, if it's his friend, if it's a colleague, he says, can I help you? Okay, moving forward. If I want to make a statement, so, you know, to make, to you, we, if I want to make a statement, not here, I'm making an offer as a question, but if I want to make a statement, then I would use can and will with statements to make an offer. So, for example, here is the mom and here's the daughter. And the daughter wants to say, I can help you fold the clothes. She's offering. Okay, so for example, I can help you fold the clothes. I can also use will. I'll help you fold the clothes. Okay, these are expressions we use can and will with statements. Okay, so if I want to, there are expressions to respond to offers. Okay, so accepting an offer. Thank you. Thanks. That would be great. Yes, please. Okay, thank you. These are expressions to accept an offer. To reject an offer, no thanks and no thank you. All right, now there are rules. These expressions also, of the, also soften negative responses. No thanks and no thank you. Um, this is important because instead of answering with yes and no and a modal, we should use the previous expressions because these are more polite. So, for example, an offer. I can help you fold the clothes, except, yes, please, don't use, okay, I'll, I'll, a question, okay, as a question, may I help you fold the clothes, to deny, to reject, no, thank you. Um, we don't want to use, don't use, yes, you can, it's rude, can I help you fold the clothes, yes, you can, it's a little bit rude, okay, yes, you can, uh, may I help you fold the clothes, don't use, no, you may not, okay, it's a little rude, no, you may not help me. Okay, um, they, but it's, 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 it's not necessarily impolite, but it's, it's a little rude. So, um, to rule summary, yes, can, could, may, to make an offer into, in a question, could I help you? We can use, use can and will to make an offer in a statement, okay? I can help you fold the clothes. And instead of answering yes and no with a modal, use expressions because these are more polite. So that would be great versus yes, you can. I can help you fold the clothes. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You know, that comes out a little curt. It's better to say curt, a little rude. It's better to say that would be great. Okay. Yes, please. And thank you. Okay. 
So that's um, that concludes this presentation. If you have any thoughts, questions, please leave me a comment. Um, and thank you.